what's up guys it's your boy spy fantastic here and today we'll be taking a look on the GAN 354M so first off let's have a look on the specs the cube weighs 79 grams and has and has an edge length of 54 millimeters as you all must know GAN always has very interesting features in all their cubes so what's amazing about this one first off let's talk about the visible magna capsules I think it's a really cool feature and looks just amazing but I haven't had any problems with it now the second feature of the cube is the GES. The GES allows you to change the spring compression very easily. Also the GES V3 is broader than the GES V2 and the GES V3 is used in the GAN 354M. So it actually doesn't work in the SM and vice versa. So there are four different compressions, yellow, green, blue and purple. Yellow is the tightest while purple is the loosest. So let me tell you how I set up this cube. And also, my favorite is actually the yellow. Comment down below what is your favorite GS. So I loop the springs with weight 3 and loop the pieces with DNM and action loops. This gave a really soft, plush feel. And now let's get more in depth with the GS. First up, the yellow GS. It's very fast and controllable. At the same time, I would recommend this GS for people who look for decent speed and controllability. Next up, green. This GS is pretty fast and has decent controllability, but the cube was a little flimsy. Now we have the blue GS. This GS is just beyond my speed. I had to slow down quite a bit. And my averages have gone from about 15 to 30 seconds. And they were just all over the place. Now the fastest one, purple GS, and all I have to say is just horrible. I would find my fingers going between the layers and I also don't see anyone using this because it keeps popping and twisting the pieces. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so anyways, that's it for GS. Now let's get into the turning. Out of the box, it was pretty dry and required setup. So after the setup, the cube was just perfect. And the corner cutting is also just amazing. Forward, it can cut more than 45 degrees and reverse, it can cut line to line. And keep in mind that the corner cutting is very effortless and if you're an inaccurate turner, this cube is for you. So now about the size, I just, uh, I just like love it. It's really good for my hands because I'm a small person. I also find that my look ahead is way better on this cube since it's smaller. I broke my PB single which is now 10.58 and a PB AOFI which is 13.45. I really love this cube, but I don't recommend it to people with large hands. It may be an ideal cube for one-handed, so check it out if you're looking for a new OHP. I really don't have much to say about it, and the performance is just really good. And if you just want a new OHP, and as I told, this one's for you. If you want a, like a small cube in general, the 354M is the way to go. And only if you're um, like willing to put the money, uh, $40 is quite expensive, but I think it's worth it. Well, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye